got into coaching because uh, I reached a level of playing that I couldn't get any further, basically. And, and uh, I've always wanted to be a teacher and a coach ever since I was a young guy. Uh, I started out a uh, high school coach and teacher. I taught history and uh, was a head coach of a high school team for about four years. And then uh, I met a man named John Chaney who's uh, just happens to be one of the great basketball minds of all time. He's in the Hall of Fame, and I spent 18 years with him at a place called Temple University in Philadelphia, where I'm from. And we had great successes for those 18 years. And then uh, became a head coach at a place called University of Missouri, Kansas City. I was there one year and uh, got some job opportunities in the NBA, and I spent 11 years, uh, four with the old Seattle Supersonics, five with the uh, Portland Trailblazers and two with the Los Angeles Clippers. And now I'm here. Well, first of all, it's a, this city is an unbelievable uh, sports town. It's a terrific place uh, and it has great history. The club from Larry and, and Michael and Justin and Vince down uh, has been nothing but a joy to be around been just a short time. Uh, the, the feeling that they gave me, the feeling of uh, respect, and it was a feeling of familiarity. I, I immediately was pretty comfortable from the beginning, and I really appreciate that they created that kind of environment because it was easy to say yes uh, to them uh, when they offered me the job. It was very easy. I felt very comfortable. Well, I don't know much. Uh, I know this about the Australian culture. You guys do so much with a limited population base. And uh, the fact that you're independent, hardworking, and uh, inclusive. I mean, it seems like everybody helps one another. Share. I've had, you know, opposing coaches come up to me and, and introduce themselves, and uh, that that that's a, that gives you a good feeling. I, I don't know what I can bring here, Sorry. other than myself and my my uh, background. You know how that all kind of comes out. I'm not quite sure, but I'm enjoying. It, the staff that that Vince has put together, and I, you know, obviously I've helped. They're they're just terrific guys. Both their knowledge and and just the way they go about their business, very professional. But they laugh easily, and um, you know, there's there's an old thing, an old saying. That John Candy, who's one of my heroes from my country, said, "There's three things that are real: God, human folly, and laughter." The first two are beyond man's comprehension. We must do what we can with the third. Um, and I'm glad we can laugh. Uh, I, I want this to be enjoyable. I want to help create an atmosphere that that gives everybody associated with this ball club the best basketball experience of their lives. And um, I just have a funny feeling, uh, it's not very funny, but a deep feeling that, that that's going to be uh, something that we can accomplish. Well, I, I've always liked people that come early and stay late. Um, Self-motivation is a, a thing that that's very important in athletics. Uh, if you need to be prodded and, and you need a, somebody to turn your button on, uh, what happens? when the, that person is not there. So self-starters, guys that, that, that like to play, um, that like to be around the basketball floor, we call them gym rats where I come from, but that element, and I think we have a bunch of guys here that, that have that. And it's my job to create the environment where, where they want to do that on a daily basis. They want to come to the, our sanctuary. They want to be there, and they're not 
doing it just for a paycheck. You don't win championships that way. You win championships when there's more at stake than just money. And uh, to be invested emotionally, to take ownership, that's something to do with it. You know, a great, a great coach, his team should be able to play the style of play that they've been taught and have accepted without that coach being there. It's like, uh, you know, you raise your kids. If you raise them well, they, they function well when you're not there. And uh, that's really a test of how good a coach you are.